G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor, and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Hi folks, thanks for joining another episode of Ask Kevin Young. And hey. Roxy, as I go around the country, I get a lot of people now coming up and saying they can't believe I'm giving such practical advice and there's no catch, there's no charge, there's no fee. Yep. Other places have gone to free seminars only to find that they had to pay $10,000 to get what Later. we're doing for free mm -hmm. and, and better for them. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. So this week's episode, we're gonna be talking about the five handbrakes in a property. So what's the first one? Well, the first one that stops 95% of people from getting wealthy is procrastination. And it's so easy to say, well, look, I can't do something because the paper said there's gonna be an atomic bomb drop I can't do something because they said there's going to be a property collapse. I can't do something because my mother-in-law said I shouldn't do something. Or well, there's a property bubble or... <laughs> yeah. So I look back at my old schoolmates from the 50s and 60s and most of those guys succumb to that problem of procrastination. Yes. And so they're now on a pension and those other guys that I was able to motivate to do something are now retired and, mm. and, and travelling the world and having a really good time. So the motto is don't wait to buy property, buy property and wait. Two best times, best time was yesterday, next best time is today. So what's the next handbrake in property? I bet you think you can't afford a property and I bet you think you can't afford a new property and I bet you're thinking perhaps I can get one that's 20, 30 years old. They're the things not to buy. Yep. And they were the things that uh, caused us to start the club because uh, at our conference we've just finished, Jake Sewell, our uh, young branch investors, manager, branch yep. manager, show that just $4,000, he can get someone into a brand new city property. So where, where's this housing affordability crisis that the media are talking about? The media have the microphone, but no knowledge. Yeah. 4,000 bucks, we can get you into a brand new property. So how do people come to us and find out how to afford a property? What do they have to do? Good question. Uh, it's on our website to become a member. Yep. Or there'll be a link below this that they can click on. And then and they fill in a financial wealth check. So what's the third handbrake in property? What do you think it is? Well, going back to my old schoolmates, it was where to start. Um, yep. Because you've got a lot of barrage of information coming out you everywhere. No one knows where to go. No, mm -hmm. no. And uh, there's a lot of noise out there. So in the club, we've got a lot of logical steps that you can go through to build your knowledge up. Yep. And we've got a lot of software programs that you can use, and again, free of charge, Yes. to take that um, confusion out of the market. Yeah. So the first place to start is of course on our website you fill a wealth check form out. 90% of people think they can't afford to do something. Mm. They're amazed when we showed them yes that they can and as we said just 4,000 bucks we can get people into brand new that's property. Amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. and, and it's like a cup of coffee a day to hold the property the right way. 95% of people buy the property the wrong way and instead of a cup of coffee a day it could cost them $100 a day mm. and they're going the door backwards. Yeah. So what's the fourth handbrake in property? Is it not knowing where to buy? You betcha. And most people are forced to just simply buy in their own backyard. So if you're in Adelaide, you think, well, I can only buy in Adelaide. Or if you're in Tasmania, I can only buy in Adelaide. Yeah. Or if you're in Sydney right now, well, I can only buy in Sydney. Whereas we know the Sydney market is topping out. We know the time to buy in Sydney was Christmas 2012. Back, yeah. back then, before the boom took mm -hmm. off. So. We're the only ones in the whole of Australia that can look at all the markets mm. and give you the right information as to why we believe some markets are going to go and some markets are going to go to sleep. But even better, we've got the resources in that location to fully support you. So we can find the tenants, we can find the right letting agents. If there's repairs or maintenance needed down the line, yep. we can fully support that as well. So no one else offers that full support yeah. letting you know where to buy. And because we've got researchers all across Australia, so people that are handpicking properties just for you guys. So what's the last handbrake in property? What, what do you think it is? I think people get into trouble because they don't ask for help and they don't know where to go to help. And we've got the case of that woman who got invested with the year about four years ago. Yeah. But she put all the money into the one location, which we didn't recommend. All that eggs now into investor. one basket. And, and now I'm pretty sure that she's seen with bankruptcy. Mm. So it's knowing where to go to help and get the right sort of help and in the club we've got all sorts of people to back you up and support you. Yeah. So ask for help. Now even if you have bought outside the club and you're in problems, still come and see us. We've got a couple from Victoria that bought through Positive Property, I think it was called. Um, bought a property that they thought when it's finished it's going to be Positive Property. Yeah. What happened? 
it was a scam and they paid all their money out and got I think it was a slab of concrete on the oh, ground. Oh yes, I remember that story. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, so we're helping them. Uh, we spent a lot of money with the legal counsel and the various state authorities and the police to see if we can help them. So even if you bought elsewhere, come and see us, we'll help you. So that was the five handbrakes in property and we hope you guys uh, got a lot of info from this episode. And if you're a member of the club, don't forget to contact your property mentor if you're thinking you have procrastination or you, you don't know where to start. And if you're not a member, then make sure you click the link below and join and we can help you with all of those handbrakes that you're having. And remember, we make 10 times more millionaires than Oslotto and you're the one that researched that and found yes, the fact. in the same time. So we've made over 5,000 property millionaires and counting. And we can make you one. Now one of the big things that's stopping you at the moment is you're paying tax and you think you're poor, you think you can't do it. Mm -hmm. We've already said for $4,000 we can remove that handbrake and we get you owning your property. So don't procrastinate, take action, the links are down below, click on them and you become a member. If you're already a member, click on work out how to talk to your branch manager or your mentor. They're there to help you and for free. And Roxy, what about our Facebook? Yes, so we post lots of tips and traps on our Property Club Facebook and also don't forget to chuck Kevin Young a like on Facebook too.